Breastfeeding is hard work and there is a lot that no one tells you. In this video, I want to share with you 10 things that no one told me about breastfeeding. Some moms bottle feed with formula or pumped breast milk or even both. Some moms exclusively breastfeed. Neither of them are wrong, it's simply a personal choice. For me, I was determined to breastfeed from the moment I found out I was pregnant. But I faced a lot of obstacles. In no particular order, here are 10 things that no one told me about breastfeeding. Number one, cluster feeding. Before having babies, I had never heard this term before. If you're a first time mom, you may not have either. Basically, it's where a baby wants to feed all the time and you feel like you're breastfeeding all day long, but it's totally normal. Keep an eye out for my next video where I dive into this topic more. Number two, breastfeeding makes you insanely thirsty and stupid hungry. If you thought you were hungry while you were pregnant, just wait till you start breastfeeding. I have never been so parched as I have while breastfeeding, especially in those first three months. Baby is literally sucking liquid out of your body, so keep water bottles everywhere. Stay hydrated and that will actually help your supply as well. Number three, supplements that increase your supply are mostly useless. There are three major things that actually do increase your supply. The first one, I just said it, drink water, stay hydrated. The second is nurse, nurse, nurse your baby. Your body makes milk based on supply and demand. So the more you nurse your baby, the more milk your body will make. And the third is making sure that baby has a proper latch. Which brings me to number four, latch is everything. If your baby is not latching properly, then they won't be able to transfer the milk. If milk is not being sucked out, then your body won't know that it needs to make more. Tongue and lip ties always affect latch. They range from severe to minor, but they all have an impact on breastfeeding. Both of my boys were tied. That was a huge obstacle for me to overcome. In a future video, I'll dive more into this topic. Number five, support is crucial for a successful breastfeeding journey. Even though I'm the one physically feeding the babies, I could not have done this without Mike's support. He brings me water and he has literally spoon fed me more times than I can count. And he's listened to all of my research, which means a lot to me. Speaking of breastfeeding, baby Frank interrupted us because he needed some milk. But now he's in a milk coma, so if he hears him snoring in the background, it's him. On to number six. It's harder than you think, especially the first time. My best friend told me something after she had her second baby that has always stuck with me. She said, the first time is hard for both of you. The second time is much easier because now you have experience. That is so true. The first time around is hard because you're both learning, you and your baby. Your muscles ache, you're trying to find the right position, you don't know how to latch properly. It sucks, it's hard. The second time around is much easier because now you know what you're doing, but you still have to teach your baby. Even though it is a natural instinct, there is still a learning curve. Number seven, it takes stubborn dedication. I would not have been successful breastfeeding, especially that first time around, had I not been stubbornly determined to do so. I hated the thought of not being able to feed my baby, especially because my body is designed to do so. Number eight, you will face naysayers and ignorance. When breastfeeding got hard for me, I was overwhelmed with so many people, even medical professionals, telling me, oh, it's just okay to supplement with formula. If your plan is to exclusively breastfeed, this is not true. It's hard to push through and ignore all of that bad advice, especially because a lot of it comes with good intentions, but it's simply outdated information. And to circle back to number five, you need that support from people who are not going to tell you, you just need to supplement with formula. If you're dedicated to exclusively breastfeeding, you need to surround yourself with people who are not going to push that on you. If you are actually worried that you're not making enough milk or you're not feeding your baby right, reach out to a professional. Go find a lactation consultant. Number nine, breastfeeding is an emotional journey. I had no idea how many emotions were involved with breastfeeding. The look in their eyes when they're feeding is so magical and so sweet. I love it so much, but it's also emotionally draining. Where are all my quarantine mamas at? <laughs> you are literally keeping a person alive with your body. Being touched out is something I had never experienced before. 
The feeling of being touched out is also really important to communicate to your partner because they may not understand. Simply getting a hug can make your skin crawl. And that was so weird for me because I love hugs, but because you're needed so much by a baby, just getting a hug from your partner might be a little over the top. And that's okay, just explain it to them to help them understand. And finally, number 10, breastfeeding should not hurt. If you're having pain, that means something is wrong. When I first started breastfeeding, my mom told me these stories about she had to rough up her nipples to get them ready for breastfeeding. No, I didn't wanna do that. If you're having pain while you're breastfeeding, that means something is wrong. Either your baby is not latching correctly or their mouth isn't functioning properly. I went to go see a lactation consultant who identified that my son had a tongue and lip tie when the pediatrician had previously dismissed it. So if you're having trouble or having pain, I encourage you go see a lactation consultant. If you have a toothache, you go see a dentist, right? Same concept. If you're having trouble breastfeeding, go see a professional and the lactation consultant is the person you need to see. Did any of these sound familiar to you? Have you gone through any of this in your breastfeeding journey? Are there any of the 10 that you want me to dive into in a little more detail? Let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll answer your question in a future video. If you found this video helpful, like the video and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell so you get notified when new videos go up.